peeps, I am Moobit and welcome back to the MC Ages server. Uh, last, we've had a good few episodes recently, haven't we? Um, it's, but today we're going to be working on this thing behind me, which is the inverted pyramid. That is our kelp farm. Um, last time we were in our base, we were working on our sugarcane farm either side of me. Um, but as you can see up here, we've got a crazy ass automatic kelp farm that uh, goes right up to the sea level. We're underground at the moment. Um, and this is going to be the industrial iceberg. Um, but I've come across an issue because if we go in here, this is the smelter to smelt up the kelp to make into kelp blocks that we make into uh, fuel and things like that. But as you can see, this kelp farm is way too efficient. And uh, yeah, uh, I don't think two uh, furnaces is really going to cut it. This is the third thing and the fourth one and the fifth one. Yeah, you, you, you get the idea. This this isn't going to cut it for a kelp farm of this size. So we are going to... In fact, I mean, look, I'm collecting it even now. <laughs> right, so we are going to dig out this whole area right here. And we're going to put in a massive automatic Minecraft powered super smelter. I've got the ingredients right here. Look, uh, lots of redstone and stuff. Um, and hopefully this will be fully automated so I literally don't have to do anything except uh, turn the dried kelp into kelp blocks. So, uh, yeah, I think first thing we need to do is clear away this crap here and um, make a little platform. And then we'll see what kind of space we've got to work with. And we'll take it from there, shall we? Now you see, that's more like it. We've actually got some space to work with here. There's the original super smelter down there. Um, and we've even got a cave network back there, which I own as well. So it turns out we've got even more space than we thought. Um, it's ugly as hell, but we've got a basic platform here. And this is where the super smelter is going to be where I'm standing. And I'm thinking I might actually prettify this area up first because you can see the, um, the kelp far through there. And I'd like to be able to see all of it. Um, just, you know, so it's pretty obvious what this place is. Um, and then we'll uh, stick the subsmotter pretty much where I'm standing. But, yeah, let's uh, let's start digging away all this crappy rock and everything and see what we can come up with. And let me start today's time-lapse talk you by apologising for missing an episode last week. Um, as some of you know, I'm a cinematographer in real life, uh, mostly with drones, but uh, I do do the odd bit of cinematography um, you know, with real cameras and things. And we're working on a horror film right now. And yeah, it's been busy. Um, <laughs> we've been out, um, we've been out in the Peak District with the director looking for some locations for a medieval chase scene, believe it or not. And then, of course, it is the Easter school holidays here in the UK. So, uh, when I am at home, my daughter and my wife are home as well. Um, so it's hard to get a, a quiet recording session, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I love my, my girls to bits, they're awesome. Well, speaking of awesomeness, thanks for the wonderful response to, to the last episode where I was doing a bass tour. Um, you guys seem to really enjoy it a lot. I've been getting a lot of feedback via the MCA just server chat and in the mail. It's obviously something you guys want to see because every time I log on to, to record some new footage, I get mobbed by people asking to for me to teleport to them and check out their bases and check out their towns and things, which I will. Um, I hear you all loud and clear. I will be coming round as often as I can. But bear in mind, these episodes are a good six to eight weeks in front in, in real life, if that makes sense. So, uh, I mean, if you guys have seen my base, some of you have seen my base as it is right now, and it looks a lot different to what you're seeing on screen right now. But uh, yeah, so if we do record, it'll be a good month or two before you actually see it on YouTube. But I'll, I'll try and sort of squeeze them in as and when I can. So yeah, thank you for the awesome response. Uh, keep sharing the videos and uh, keep letting me know the kind of things you want to see on this, content, on this uh, channel. I appreciate everybody and I appreciate all your support. It means it means the world to me and I know it means the world to the staff on the MC Ages server. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love the server so much. It's a great community. But enough gushing, let's get back onto the server and start building our super smelter. Okay, there we go. And we've got the first sort of skeleton of what's going to be our super smelter right here. So uh, the furnaces are just behind me. Um... Now, I'm using this amount of furnaces because I think it was Il Mango who discovered this, that this is the optimal amount of furnaces 
for burning the kelp. So if you have any more, you end up using wasting fuel. Um, and if you have any less, then obviously, you know, there's not enough there. So it, oh, whichever way around you want to think about it, I suppose. Wow, that's a lot of kelp. That's just from like an hour of me setting the furnaces up. That's crazy. This this farm's incredible. I'm going to be um, dumping kelp in the Everwinter... Um, mailbox for, for weeks with this um but yeah as you can see i've got lots and lots and lots these are all full of kelp <laughs> i'm just gonna collect this up but we've got a i think it's a 16 furnace array here and the idea is we've got to put the tracks in um and then what you can see up here where all this kelp is this is the sort of minecart lo loader unloader so the kelp falls into a hopper above which i might even put a chest up there as well just to act as an overflow and once the only when the minecart is full does it release the minecart without using a fence post and then that will go around some tracks but yeah let me clean this up i'll give you a better idea what it looks like there we go so you can see a bit clearer now <laughs> it's not full of kelp everywhere but uh, yeah they've got a fence post just here that is on a sticky piston that pulls back um, and releases the uh, hopper minecart i'm gonna put an overflow chest in here and then if I can just pull her up a second, put the hopper there, and that's where the kelp's going to come in. Might even make that a double chest, I'm not sure. I'll probably, probably sure that it's filling up so quickly. Uh, but yeah, the, once once the um, minecart gets released, it goes around uh, in a sort of a clockwise direction, as you're looking at it here, and over the top of the furnaces, and evenly distributes the kelp into all the furnaces which obviously activates them so obviously we've got to do that via hoppers so yoink and we've got to put hoppers all the way along here and all the way along here and these ones at the back of course are going to be our fuel imports it's quite a simple system really so you're gonna have one minecart distributing the fuel evenly along the back here and then one minecart uh, distributing the kelp into the top um, but now we've got an idea what our room's going to look like, we can actually start prettifying it. So I'm going to do something with that cave at some point, but for now, uh, we're just going to decorate it with some uh, polished um, polished bird poo here, because this is what I use for all my, um, my redstone gadgets. I don't know why, I just like it, and it's cheaper than using... Um, than using the never stuff <laughs> but here yeah, so here we go this is where this is how we're going to do the tracks the track will go all the way along the top here and then all the way around the back here do, 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 do. and remember if you're going to build this it needs to go two out because of the way tracks are so just make sure it does this and then we just need to lay our tracks boink 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 and no more rail boink 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 and just make sure the powered rail is all the way along here um, and that makes sure it gets uh, distributed into the hoppers in an even fashion but yeah I've got to do this and then put some tracks along the back and I'll be right back okay that's done uh, we've got an activator rail here which is I think three blocks away from the uh, hopper minecart input um, and they're going to have some redstone underneath here. Um, it's going to have basically take a signal out of this rail, uh, or what this rail when it when the uh, cart goes over it, send it down, and it's going to have a no. If if the cart is empty, it's going to change the direction of the points there to go into the um, hopper area to to you know be filled up with kelp again. And if it's got kelp, it's, it's just go straight over the points, basically, and cycle around. Um, but for now, ooh, I'm just doing the back end, back way here as well, because I think I've, I've actually made it slightly too short on the back. I need to expand this room out a little bit to make sure that the carts will bounce back and forwards to deliver the fuel. And, of course, now we've just got to power these rails, so we're going to stick a lever there. Yeah, that's fine. The minecart can go underneath there and then stick one there. And that'll power those last few. And stick one on the block. I don't know, here? Yeah, that'll do. 
Time for some redstoning, and I'm a little bit rusty, but we'll have a go. So, so picking up the signal from there, and then we've got a comparator output on four ticks. Another comparator there, and a redstone dust connecting that. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, comparator there, and oh, fell over. I need to go up into a block with. Get rid of that. I'll put some dust there. Another block with a uh, repeater. Boink. Up into a block with some dust underneath. And into that repeater at the end. And I've just remember, I think we need to put some uh, powered rails here. Give me a sec. And one there with a... And I think... I think that's it. I'm going to do some final checks on here. I might need to shimmy it round a little bit and in fact i need to do that bit again i think i think there's a better way of doing that but yeah i'm going to finalize all this um and i'll be back that's more like it yes both carts are running now um i had to do a little bit of jiggery pokery with the redstone um that detects the mine carts going backwards and forwards We've got a little lever here to stop the uh, fuel cart so I can fill it up quite quite easily. And all the cooked kelp goes into these chests here. Which I may even dig down even further and make shared loads of chests to go all the way down. I'm not sure. Uh, I've got to clear up this the old smelter room. I'm going to clear all this up. Um, but underneath here, as you can see, is water. And that needs clearing before I can put any more chests down there. And that's a job for another day, I think. <laughs> but yeah, I think I might make some kind of aquarium out of this underneath. That'd be pretty cool. But for now, I'm actually out of time. I hope you enjoyed this episode. A bit more redstone-y than the last couple. I really enjoyed this one, actually. And this has been a requested thing um, from one of our community members who asked how my super smarter was made. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Um, I did use a tutorial for some of the redstone. So I will dig that out and put that in the description below if you want to build that yourself. But in the meantime, I have been Moobit. This has been the MC Ages server, and if you liked the video, please give it a like, and if you didn't, feel free to click that dislike button twice, see if I care. See you in the next episode. Ta-ra! I like to move it, move it! <laughs>